My name is Jason Boehm, and I'm here today at the Sussex County Administrative Building at One Spring Street in Newton to share with everyone in the county my story and my time at Sussex County Community College because it involves the upcoming election. So if anyone did not know out there, uh, New Jersey has a statute in its state constitution, and New Jersey defines a statute as a constitutional and local law of the state. That statute, 18A, colon 64A-22 mandates that the county, with any community or public school in, in its location, has to provide 25% of all operating costs. That also goes for the state, who's supposed to have up to 43% of operating costs, but a mandatory of 25%. This is to mitigate any loss in tuition revenue so that students don't bear the brunt of any losses from funding. Well, because of the gross defunding that has been going on for decades in this county, Sussex County Community College was running about six and a half million dollars short on the funding that we were owed from both the county and the state. Three million from the county and 3.6 from the state for the 2016-2017 school year. As a representative of the school, I was chosen by the president of the college to go down with other representatives of Sussex County Community College to Trenton to speak with our elected officials, Parker Space, Gail Phoebus, our assembly persons, and our state senator, Orho. And we were given the boot, essentially. We were given about 15 minutes to talk to Parker Space and Gail Phoebus, in which Gail Phoebus informed me that there was nothing she could do for us, and Parker Space began telling me about his tattoos and taking off his jacket and shirt, rolling up his sleeves to show me his tattoos while I had traveled over two hours to try to talk to him about the gross injustice that was taking place in the systemic def defundment of the school. Uh, after we hit this brick wall with both Space and Phoebus, we went to speak with Orho, our senator, uh, in another part of the Capitol building down in Trenton. When we met with him, he seemed somewhat sympathetic and was willing to meet with us at another time to discuss options. So we left that day, and several weeks later, he set a meeting. I, as the person who was doing all of the research for the group that we had now become as student representatives of the school, was barred from that meeting. I was not allowed to go. The other representatives who did go were offered by Orho, Space, and Phoebus the idea of proposing a bill that would essentially create a loan program for the students to make up for lost uh, funds from state or county in the eventuality that the students would need to come up with that extra money. Unfortunately, after a very little bit of a research, I ended up finding out that that bill not only had been proposed several times in the past, but had been shot down every time because it unfortunately was putting more debt upon the student body and wasn't doing anything to really mitigate the issue of the constitution of the state being broken and our elected officials being culpable in breaking the law. So after I made that discovery, we let the senator know and we basically didn't hear anything back from him. So a couple months went by, nobody was really doing anything. I was speaking with the president of the college. I met with Jerry Scanlon, the head of the RNC, who also sits on the board of our college uh, about the, the, you know, it being unethical that he even be there uh, in both positions and also to ask him what his party was doing to work on the gross defundment of the school. Uh, his answer was similar to Orho's Spaces and Phoebus's in that he was aware. He is aware, all four of these people are aware that they are breaking the law. They are aware of this constitutional statute and they have done nothing to stop it or to even mitigate it or to even bring it up in council down in Trenton. So I, feeling like I had no choice but to take action on my own in the spirit of an activist, I was through my capacity as an ambassador at the school, working an event, and I was able to put an informational pamphlet inside of a, another pamphlet that was being given out at the event in order to covertly let everyone know there what was still going on. And the people in attendance were other school presidents, both county colleges and state colleges within the state, and all of our elected officials. After I had done it, an investigation was immediately launched by the school and the punitive threats that were coming from the administration had everybody very upset. So I immediately turned myself in. 
for merely expressing my right, my First Amendment right, and letting my fellow students know that we were being divested illegally by our elected officials who were supposed to help their constituency, and that we've been blatantly ignored by our elected officials rather than supported as their constituency. I was kicked out of the ambassador program. I had to pay back my scholarship money. I was threatened with expulsion, and I was barred from any other student events for the rest of the, my time at Sussex County Community College. I was also told that Orho now viewed me as an enemy. He was present at my graduation where he stared me down the entire time I walked past him with his face beat red and his eyes grinted in anger at me. Uh, Parker Space has made mention of me to other people several times, uh, alluding to the fact that I might be a communist. But the fact is that I'm not a communist. I'm just someone who's aware of the law. And the law clearly states in the New Jersey State Constitution, under 18A, colon 64A-22, the state of New Jersey is responsible for up to 43% of all operating costs for public colleges, is only required to provide 25%, and the county is also responsible for 25%. Again, all of these elected officials are aware of this. All three of them know that we're being illegally defunded. So do our freeholders, who I also met with. George Graham I met with personally on two different occasions. They're all aware of this injustice. They're all aware that there is a breach in the state constitution, and they just don't care. 